Hello, hope all is well. This is Ken here from Walt Finance. Hope everything's fantastic wherever you are in the world today. Today I'm going to basically just give you a quick tutorial on how to be able to enter a trade. Um, there's been a lot of questions in terms of people struggling with slippage and not going through in terms of execution uh, or where to go in terms of where to be able to buy Walt. So let me take you through this step by step. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to go to the website, so walt.finance, walt.finance, and then once you come onto the website, just scroll to here, top where it says you've got products, you have developers. When developers go down to the first, which will say contracts, and contracts, then click on Walt token. So on the top tab, there's developers, then click on that, it'll show the top one, contracts, then click on Walt token. When you click on that, it'll then take you to the token contract. Then basically what you want to do with a token contract, what you see here is a contract address, okay? So all I'm going to do is copy this contract address, so at least I have that saved. Now I'm going to go to Pancake Swap, okay? So there's a specific Pancake Swap the exchange. Um, the link will be in the description. The uh, Walt, our website will also be in the description. Everything will be in the description, okay? <laughs> Just to make sure that we're following it step by step. So once you're there, then ultimately you have three options. You have exchange, liquidity, and bridge. So let's start with the exchange. So with the exchange here, you'll basically say, okay, you have options of what you want, what you currently have in terms of asset and what you want to transfer to. But what you need to do is unlock your wallet. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just to show you this, you have a list of different wallets, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Math Wallet, Token Pocket, so on and so forth. So I have MetaMask. I'm going to click on this specific wallet and then what happens it basically will literally give you an option where you can be able to um, literally unlock your MetaMask. I've already unlocked it so I've you know essentially beaten that but if you haven't unlock it and then add your password. Then what happens here there's an option. So you have an option of what you currently have in BNB. So th this is one of my wallets, okay, of a, of a few. <laughs> um, so basically in the BNB, it'll show you what you currently have. And then what you want to do is the specific contract address that you copied here from Walt Finance, okay? So Walt Finance, specific contract address. What you want to now do is you want to now select the token. So select the token, copy and paste, and then I'll add here. So basically it'll just show you whether you have an existing, um, um, let's say tokens or not. If you do, you may have one wallet, one wallet there, you may have a hundred wallets, you don't know. Um, this is just something to be able to look. So this gives you just a, a breakdown. And then what you wanna do is you want to now move whichever asset you have here to Walt, right? So let's say there's BNB. You might have, for example, Alpha, ADA, you might have Band, whatever it is, you have the opportunity of moving that specific asset to Walt in terms of buying. So let's first go to this specific section. Here is like the settings. You click on the settings, it'll show you the slippage tolerance. So 0.1%, 0.5%, 1%. So generally, it's good to have it a minimum 3%, obviously, um, because there's a transaction tax but three to 6% is optimal. So if 3% doesn't work, then go to four, ramp up to five, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go down to, let's just do 4%, okay? Then it's also important when you wanna do this, make sure you don't have any um, decimals because what tends to happen, so if I would put this, for example, it's good that you have um, whole numbers so if you're gonna do this, maybe you even have it as 0 0.99, or in my scenario, let's just see if this would, I'm gonna have it as 0 0.99, for example. If you do have it as, you, if you have more than, let's say, let's say 10 BNB or 10.555 BNB, make sure you just have it at one and that's it, 0.00, if that makes sense. Because sometimes if you have one point five, six, seven, eight, um, it may not go through. So make sure you have whole numbers. And if you have more than uh, this amount, for example, then it'll be like 1.0. So here I'll just put 0 0.99, okay? Then 
um, in this scenario, or let's even take it down, you need to also make sure you have sufficient gas, um, sufficient BNB, because the transaction is going to be used for BNB as a transaction. So normally the transaction fee might be less than, literally it's less than $1 essentially, which is absolutely amazing if you compare it to Ethereum, which, you know, at the peak, you're looking at sometimes $100, $150 for a transaction which is incredible so generally you'll get on bnb &B for transactions you're generally on binance smart chain you're generally getting less than one dollar okay so i hope that's clear so let's just do as a test um 0 0.1 okay as a test then i have my slippage tolerance set to 4 0 0.1 i'm moving from bnb &B to vault so if you're happy with that then what you can do click on swap okay then it'll give you a breakdown of output is estimated, uh, minimum received, price impact 0.1%. So it's a huge impact in the price. <laughs> so this is the amazing thing is when you have a project you're investing that has sufficient liquidity, you know that it's not going to have a huge price impact. Obviously, the amount that's moving over is very small. Um, but it's important to look at projects that there's sufficient liquidity and Walt Finance has that, which is positive. Why? Because people are really interested and really putting their money where their mouth is. So if we're happy, price has been updated. I'm going to be able to move that and I will basically get 0 0.56. I'm going to click accept for the new update. I'm going to click on confirm swap. Then it's asking me here, going across here, the exchange pancake swap. Then it's giving me details. You have a gas. Normally this gas is fine, a uh, gas price of 10. And then you have a gas limit. So generally it's important to have um, literally about of above 24,000 above that in a gas limit. But I think this is fine. And then it gives you a breakdown of um, what's being transferred over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on confirm. And then it says transaction submitted, view on Binance scan. So if I close this down, very shortly, I should see confirmation. So confirmation bottom says view on Ether scan, and then it's moved over. So you can see that that amount swap 0 0.1 BNB has moved over to Walt. And then that's where we are, it's been added to the specific Walt. So that just shows you in terms of um, how to be able to enter. And you'll do the same thing to buy and you do the same thing if you want to sell, okay? Um, regarding liquidity, so if we go to liquidity aspect, for liquidity aspect, if you want to add liquidity, you click on add, you'll check here, the settings, you add liquidity, and then basically you're doing the same thing, but in this scenario, you're adding to the liquidity pool. So as we mentioned before, if you go back to my previous episode about increasing rewards then there's incentivization not just for um for holders we're, we're moving over now but there's incentivization if you're if you're mining if you're staking um so really this is helping for the liquidity pool so we really support people that are providing value to our specific project not just having we love you to buy yes and to hold but we really really love you if you're adding liquidity okay so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on max. Then I'm going to just take this down here and I'm going to do point 0.1. Okay. So let's just keep it for the same amount. Okay. Before it was point 0.1, we're doing the same thing, point 0.1. Then I would have to select the token again, right? So I'm copying and pasting and I'm, I'm adding the token. Then it shows you prices and pool share. So it shows you in the vault per BNB, shows you the BNB per vault. And it shows you the share of pool. Obviously, I have more addresses, but I'm just giving you an example here with this scenario, if that makes sense. So if you're happy with this structure in terms of liquidity, then you'll supply. So you're supplying from your specific asset. You're moving it over what you currently have to this liquidity pool of Vault Finance. So I'm going to click on supply. Then it'll say you'll receive this amount. Output is estimated if the price changes by more than 4%, your transaction will revert, okay? BNB deposited, 0.1. Walt deposited. Rates, share of pool. So I have a huge share in my pool right now. So it's 0.5781%. So I'm running the show. <laughs> so if you're happy with that, then just click confirm. 
And then you need to then confirm the information on your MetaMask, okay? So if you're happy with the structure that you can clearly see here, hopefully you can see it, um, and then you click on confirm. Then it say transaction submitted, you can be able to view on, on Binance Scan or close. And then there's a confirmation, and then obviously it now shows move, then there's gonna be another confirmation that will show up. So bottom right, you've probably heard this ding ding sound, and it shows add 0 0.1 BNB to Walt. So I basically added a provided to liquidity pool. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Um, then in terms of the bridge, so there's also a bridge here. Regarding the bridge, if you want to be able to transfer um, what you currently have from, uh, let's say, an asset of um, Ethereum, for example, network, and you want to move this over to the Binance Smart Chain, then you can be able to do that using the bridge. Um, and then you need to connect your wallet. For those based in um, America, you'd need to have an extension. So you need to download the Binance extension wallet and then to be able to connect it and move it, move through there. I will obviously create another tutorial for that. Um, but essentially, this is how it works. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be adding all of the links in the description and happy trading. Love you all. Speak to you soon.